Hi, Lowe's Vogel Sharp. Today's January 31st, 2020. And um, let me start with the prayer. This is the prayer that the Holy Spirit gave me some few weeks back. We come to you, our Father, and we ask you in humility to please step in and help us. Our world and our country are messed up by the evil one, and we need victory over his attacks upon our land, upon our hearts, our souls, our minds, and our bodies. Help us, O oh Lord, to be the sons of God so we can fulfill our purposes in this world that belong to you. We rebuke all evil that is trying to take your children and your planet from you in Yeshua's name. And we call for the kingdom warrior angels to come and help us in our mission to shine your light, Father, to the world so souls can be saved and come into your kingdom rather than be destroyed in the devil's kingdom. Help us, Father, to love one another the way we are supposed to, for this is how the world knows who are the true sons and daughters of the Most High God. We thank you, and we will continue to pray with all our hearts that we can be true sons and daughters that will touch the lives of all we meet. In Yeshua's name we ask, amen. Um, I got a word this morning from the Father. Well, the Father and then Jesus spoke too again. Got her between 5 and 5.30 in the morning. I have a word for my people. You must listen to what I have to tell you because the time is at hand. Evil has made its moves to go full force attack on America. And it is so very frustrated that it cannot stop the movement of your president that it plans to throw a monkey wrench in these impeachment trials. It will continue to harass your president until the crash openly shuts down the system. Right now, behind closed doors, everything is tumbling in free fall. But you have not seen this. I allowed the evil one to stop the manifestation of this woe for the short time, as many things are in full force to attack your land. I see the wave of sorrow coming against the world as this woe is upon you. It has been a bit of a roller coaster as your country is so split down the middle. And many who believe in my son Yeshua, are on the wrong side of the fence. They have no idea I have chosen your president so he can protect your land from the evil takeover that has been moving in for many years subtly. Those of you who truly love me will see a crash like never before and never will be again, and it will lead to the fourth seal opening. But for now, the day upon you is enough to suffice. One move at a time to prepare my safety arcs, so I must call out my gold and my silver to rise above all else in value, for you will use it for my safe zones. Corey Ten Boom had a correct view shown to her, and the five zones in America are safest places to be in. Coastal lines will be zones for my tsunamis to hit and wipe away many who despise my son and my love for you. Evil will stay in cities where zombie-like activity will abound as their minds become more and more reprobate as evil takes them over. Mountain areas will be the places to go where cities do not exist and farmland is everywhere. But you have to take into account earthquake zones for the land will crack everywhere and it can, under the pressure of beneath it that is mounting up from your earth which is no longer stable, for the season is over and evil has disrupted the flow of everything. When I tell you what is like the days of Noah again, it is so, for reprobate minds were everywhere then and they are once again taking over mankind and manipulating his thoughts so evil can fulfill its purpose of the destruction of mankind and raising up its own hybrid man-like animal, robot creatures, and everything else that Satan get, get his hands on to pervert the image and likeness of man, which you know is our image and likeness. I know these words are hard to grasp, but there is no other way to explain what evil is doing. This impeachment has been to stop my move of keeping America and Israel safe, but it will not stand, for America must hold its own during these end times. My people must have places to be able to go and dwell while my indignation pours on the earth. Places everywhere that will be safe from harm, even though there will be weather phenomena around them. They will be able to withstand the waves of extreme temperatures and wind and rain and snow and sleet and hail. 
My protective covering will be upon them, and you will be directed to build with the uttermost strength and durability to keep your building safe. More than worrying about evil coming to get you, you will need to focus on safe housing from the weather conditions that will be extreme all over the planet. Evil will be snuffed away. And at that moment, I got led to look at the clock, and it was 555, which means revealing things. So God is revealing things to us. Evil will be snuffed away one person at a time from my earth. My people who do not listen will also fall by the wayside into the ditch and suffer during this time. But those who love me will be with me forever. Then Jesus steps in and he talks. My true bride will believe and follow my directions. All others will have to stay in the outer court. But my bride will stand right next to me and rule and reign on the earth with me, Yeshua. So we are here, my love, and the battle rages on as evil rises up. Look up and know your redemption does draw nigh, and I will have the angels gather you up at the proper time. You are mine, and I am yours, and we will be together for all eternity. We are one, so do not fear what man can do to you. Use the gifts of the Spirit to see clearly what you must do to survive the storms that are upon you. Time is closing against evil. You will see my power and my glory manifest on the earth like never before during these end days. I love you and fear not, for I have overcome the world. Love Yeshua and our Father who art in heaven. And I, I want to share something about this one two, four time frame. Most of you know it. It was a time frame God showed me. Uh, I left my body. Um, my son was born dead, came back to life. It's a whole scenario. You want to know the story, go back and find the videos on the one to four time frame, and it'll explain what it is. It's too long to get into it every video that I do. But it was a number God showed me, one, two, four. It had significance of our birthdays. Um, and it also represents the time frame we're in. The time frame we're in is we're being led back to Eden. We're going to be meeting with the Lord. We're going to get gathered up in the rapture, meet him in the air. And we're going to have, we're going to have a life forever with our Lord. All right. And during this time, before we get gathered up, we're going to be led to safe zones, safe havens, safety arcs, whatever you may call them. Just like Noah built an ark, we're building arcs of safety. Because the Bible tells us in Isaiah 26, 20 through 21, my people go behind closed doors for a little while while my indignation pours out on the earth. The closed doors are the arcs of safety, the safe havens, where we will be in these communities and the doors will close behind us. And we will pretty much stay there. We will be self-sufficient communities, but only the true bride of Jesus will be allowed in. Because there will be no backbiting. There will be no people that are out to destroy us through their um, reprobate minds, those that have swayed to the world and are walking with the devil that call themselves Christians. There are a lot of so-called Christians out there that are not. You know them by their fruits. You know them by their fruits. And the fruits of the Spirit, they're not apples and oranges. They're love, peace, joy, patience, gentleness, humility. Faith, all these things, joy, all these beautiful emotional feelings that God gives us. It's not those that are nasty looking to destroy one another. It's for God's true, true people. And God's true people have love for one another. We're not looking to find fault. We're not looking to point out faults with each other. We're looking to uplift each other. We're looking to help encourage one another. We're looking to tell each other, you know what, it's okay. We're going to make it. Yeah, but I'm having a real issue in my life. It's okay. You're going to make it. Because the Bible says you're predestined to be conformed into the image of Jesus, Yeshua. Therefore, it will happen in your life. And everybody's at different levels. So somebody that's walking with the Lord as many years as I have, I have to be very patient with a baby Christian. But we have to recognize who has wisdom and who is still immature in the Lord. And you have to have enough humility in yourself to know your positions. We all have to be humble enough in ourselves to know our places and not use pride and put ourselves in positions we don't belong in. Because that's when you fall on your face. 
because there's a place for everybody in God's kingdom. Everybody. And one member of the body can't say to the other member, oh, I want to be you, I don't want to be me. No, you wouldn't want to be me. Those of you that think you would love to be me, if you were in my position, you wouldn't want to be me. Trust me. Being me is not the easiest thing on planet Earth, but I'm anointed to do it. So I'm blessed when I do it. Now, I want to share something about the one, two, four, because God is starting to reveal this to everybody. All right? He revealed it to my brother, Bo Polney. Okay? He puts it out in his videos. Now, brother Steve Quill had a video out the other day, and some people sent it to me. Um, you, have to, you have to go on his site and become a member to be able to view his videos. It's the... Um, it's the Q, the Q files or whatever it is, the quail files. And he puts out things going on all the time that he finds out because he's got a lot of connections out there. Well, he was doing a video, and in the video, from what I'm told, somebody asked what time it is. I believe it was Steve that asked what time it was, all right? He's my brother. I've met him at the conferences, you know. Um, I've talked with him on the phone. I mean, I haven't talked with him in a long, long time. But I see what God's doing. So he asks what time it is, and the other brother says, it's 124. Well, when I heard that God just revealed that to him, that's God's way of showing us we're brothers and sisters in the Lord. He's starting to reveal it to his other apostolic members, prophets, whatever, preachers, teachers, about the 124 time frame we're in. What is the 124 time frame? It's the end times. It signifies we're going back. It's full circle. The Garden of Eden. We're coming full circle around. We're going back to it again. That's what it means. It means going back to Eden. The one, two, four is a time frame. It's a meaning of a time frame. And we are in a time frame now where the body of Jesus Christ is rising up on the earth and taking her rightful position. It's going back to the book of Acts, the way it was in the book of Acts. There was a lot of persecution back then, and it's going to happen again. It's happening now where the other side actually hates us, absolutely hates us. And Christians, that so-called Christians that hate me, you're not a Christian. You're just not. Because if you were a true Christian of Jesus Christ, you wouldn't hate me, you would love me. I don't care if you disagree with me. I don't care if you think I missed it. I don't care if you don't like my personality. You would still love me because I am a sister in the Lord. I'm a true sister in the Lord. And I have love of the Lord in me to, for the people. That's why I do these videos. That's why the Father speaks to me with his words. Because I bring his love out to the people. Because those that know my heart of hearts, they know me. And they know my person. When you get to know somebody, you understand their mannerisms. You understand their ways. And everybody has their different ways. I live in New York, folks. We talk totally different from the rest of the world. All right? We tell it like it is. That's just the way we are. I, was, I came from being a very shy person who never opened my mouth to a person who now goes out on the internet on videos and tells it like it is, regardless of what people think or say about me. Because I got delivered from being insecure that way. And I am quite confident in my relationship with my father. I know he loves me, and he loves me for who I am, faults and all. And he's perfecting me to be like Jesus, just like he is you. That's what he's doing. So whatever faults you have and you think, oh, I can't help it, I'm missing it, I'm missing it. No, that he's going to fix it. He's going to get you to the point where you walk out of that sin in your life. You will walk out of it. Trust me. Things that you've done before, you're not going to want to do anymore. You just won't want to do them. It's just the way it is. When you become closer and closer and one with the Holy Spirit, you start to act like Him. You can't help yourself. You just do. And you just have love for people. You just have love. You can't help it. It's just there because that's how He feels. So you start to take on his feelings and his emotions. And it couples with your person. He doesn't rob us of our identities. He brings our true person out. Because he makes you feel free in who you are. 
You can feel free as a child of the Most High God, and that's what it's all about. So God is revealing the one, two, four, and I don't even know if Brother Steve Well even knows about the one, two, four thing and what happened and the outer body experience I had. I've shared it a couple times. I know he's so busy, he probably doesn't watch my videos, but if anybody knows him or, or has contact with him, let him know that that one, two, four, that he was shown that day is God revealing a t the time frame of what he showed me when I actually had an outer body experience and those numbers appeared to me. And after those numbers appeared to me, an outright miracle came to pass. My son was dead, came back to life. I saw them again when Gary was in the hospital with an issue with his heart. Had total healing. He went in, they were gonna to have to put a stent in his heart and there was nothing wrong. That the doctor was embarrassed. I said, don't worry about it, doctor. God stepped into the picture here, and I'm very thankful. So, we are here, folks. The impeachment trial, they just decided they're not going to take more witnesses. That's a plus for the Republicans. But, of course, the other good side is going to say that we didn't have a fair trial. I just want to throw a couple things out here. I've been watching it enough to know what the real facts are. The real facts are the Congress didn't do it constitutionally. They subpoenaed people, they didn't have the right to do it. They didn't even call for the impeachment without taking a vote. They did everything unconstitutional. Now they want the Senate to take over and mess fix the garbage that they threw at them. They bring the impeachment to the Senate, then the Senate votes on it. The Senate's not supposed to have to do, to do a whole other, Get witnesses and do all these things because they didn't do their job and they wanted to rush it through before Christmas so that they could say our president was impeached. It's all a sham to try to discredit our president so that he doesn't get elected again. And I'm going to tell you another thing. We had best elect this man again. He's the only thing bringing safety to our country. He's the only thing buffing up our military in case we have attacks. If the other side gets in, if we get somebody in like Bernie Sanders, who's an outright socialist, it all sounds great, everything's free, but nothing's free. Salvation isn't even free. Think about it for a minute. You're going to say, what? Salvation is a free message. But how do you get saved? What do you have to do to get saved? You have to accept what Jesus tells you is truth. And you have to pick up your cross and follow him every day. That's what it is to be a follower of Jesus and to be saved. To accept the salvation message means you follow Jesus. You lay your life down and you follow him. So you have to give up your life to get saved. So it's free in its own way. You don't pay for it. But you still have to do something about it to be a child of the Most High God. Because you're called to be a follower of Jesus Yeshua. And there are a lot of people that say they believe in Jesus, but they don't follow him. They believe in abortions. They say they're Christians, but they voted for Hillary, who was for abortions, who was saying that the, the, the Bible is uh, outdated and we need to update things. The Bible never changes. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's never going to change, ever, ever, ever. So we have to be very careful in who we're following and what, who we're saying we are. If you want to follow Jesus, you need to follow him with all that you are. Daniel 12, 4 talks about the end times. One, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four. I had no idea when I got this one, two, four, the significance of what it is. And now God is starting to send it out to other people, apostles of the most high God, and he's revealing it to his people, the time frame that we are in. We are in the end times, folks. So we need some serious, serious prayer. And I'm Lois Vogel Sharp. And I want to get this out. I don't want to take too much time because I'm doing this very late. Um, 
Just keep the prayers going. And remember one thing. Never forget this. God loves you. No matter what you go through, no matter what situation you're in, God loves you with all that he is. Enough so that he sent his only son into the world to save us from hell. And all we have to do is believe it and walk in the newness of life as the followers of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, our Lord. So I'll be back when he sends me back again and have a blessed night.